there's been some research that's talked about used used phrases like sexual fluidity, mm -hmm. or that um, people's sexual attractions change can change over time. What do, what does that mean? So sexual fluidity is a term that Lisa Diamond coined to describe the. Um, tendency for sexual minority women to experience shifts in their sexual identity over time. And, um, you know, observing that, you know, she's been doing this longitudinal study that's going on 18 years or something like that, um, whereby women's shifts in how they formulate their sexuality um, seem to be very contextually and relationship driven. And so um, there, there seems to be some stability to women's patterns of sexual attraction, so how attracted they are to, to women and men, or um, how they formulate that, whether they, they adopt a bisexual identity or a lesbian identity or actually reject an identity altogether, it really shifts with their life experience. How do you reconcile that idea of sexual fluidity with the statement that a person can't go to some kind of therapy to change their sexual orientation. Well, I think that this is a, a point where you have to really strongly distinguish between sexual identity, sexual behavior, and sexual attraction. So, you know, the fluidity in women's sexuality is really, I, th I think, how I understand it, is fluidity in um, sexual identity. And so you can change your identity, you can change that contextually, but I don't think that you can change your underlying pattern of sexual attraction. And so though, you know, reparative therapists may seek to fundamentally be changing that aspect, you know, you, the, the direction of your sexual attractions, you know, certainly as you can change your sexual behavior, you can choose to or not to um, have sex with, with um, you know, particularly other women, and you can call yourself heterosexual, I doubt that that in any way is going to affect that underlying pattern of sexual attraction.